You know, people keep telling me to reach for the stars. I don't know, something about that seems hard. Also, I'd rather not burn my hand. Hi, I'm Game Guy. I haven't moved an inch since the last time. And if you're seeing this, I did indeed upload this episode, so, you know, be worried free. Uh, also, it's time for Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. I seem to have forgotten that part. Hey, there's a guy there, and I just blew him up by punching him. The fun thing about this thing, which I didn't really explain at all in the last episode, is the fact that it doesn't use ammo, and is also more powerful than the wrench. So, you know, it's pretty awesome, in fact. It looked like I did something there, but I don't know what. Also, the same rule applies, as far as I know. I don't think you want to go swimming anywhere, because that's not a good idea. Alright, this, this part is annoying, because, uh... This guy's gonna, like, go around, and you have to stop the fishy things from getting him. That's not a good thing if it happens. So I'm just gonna sit here and punch these guys all day. I hope you don't mind, because quite frankly, I love the Walloper. Really do. Uh, hi, tree! Hi, tree! <laughs> You're so helpful, tree! <laughs> Thank you for getting in my way, tree! I love trees! Alright, so, um... Let me try that again, I guess. Don't touch me, Mr. Pokemon. I, you're not a Pokemon. So, <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't know. Let's try the apple cider this time. Alright. Burning all the fish. You know, um, it seems like the thing to do. I don't know if they actually, like, harm the guy there. They certainly harm me, that's for sure. Where was that tree at? I want to kill that tree. Stupid tree. You know, I love trees, but, uh, sorry, that tree I don't love. There were boxes back there, and also over there. But I guess we aren't going to get them. Oh, man, that guy can jump, like, really high. That's crazy. I'm gonna burn you, and then get hit by this thing over here. Ah, <laughs> don't kill me. Die, please, in a fire, preferably. You know, this fire right here that I have in my hand, die in it. Uh, can I blow you all up? I wish very much to blow you all up. And save myself the agony of having to go down there and fight you myself. So I'm just gonna sit here and lob bombs at you. That seems like the thing to do. Alright. So, over here, we might want to go up here and break all of these, because... Hey, you know, there's ammo there. I love ammo. It is pretty cool and awesome at the same time. I do believe you actually need to kill everything, otherwise the guy won't follow you. Because you do need to lead him to the end of the level. Otherwise, you know, you're just not going to get anywhere now, are you? Just ain't going to get anywhere. Wah, no, man, why'd you have to sneak up behind me? Really? All the way back here? This game sure is notorious for that. I think this is where I died. I hate it when I die. It's quite painful. There are bolts to be found. Dude! You know, this, this kills them in one hit before. I don't know why it's suddenly not. These guys are, like, finicky or something. They must just have, like, more than one hit or something. I don't even really know. This might actually be a good place for the suck cannon, now that I think about it. it might be a little late for that, though. Might be. Might be a little late for that now, there. Don't know why I'm speaking with some sort of crazy accent again, but for some reason, that seems to be a reoccurring theme. Get the nanotech first before you die. That would be fantastic. Okay. So, we got another flying boat ride. Awesome. And a half. I hope I don't run out of pyrocitor ammo. That would be terrible. It would indeed be terrible. I hate running out of ammo in a time like this. See, now it's suddenly not killing them in one hit. Maybe it's just that it knocks them off the platform or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't pretend to know. Okay, I just don't. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Please, before I die, I wish to know if we are there yet. I am running out of ammo, which is not a good thing in the slightest. And I died. That right at the end of the trip. Oh. Well, hello, checkpoint. You are all so convenient. That's 
awesome, except I'm out of Pyrocitor ammo. That's absolutely fantastical. So I guess I'm going to have to try using the Pomar. Fun. Uh, prior experience has taught me that the Pummeler is not the best weapon for cramped spaces such as this. Also, I'm afraid I'm gonna, like, fall off. I don't know for sure if said thing will ever happen, actually, but you never know. You never know. Don't, don't, no, fishy guys with spikies, do not, do not. Seriously, just do not. D don't, just don't. That guy just... The heck? That guy, like, just jumped and, you know, he exploded for some reason. <laughs> That's fine with me, of course, but, you know, I, I just... It, it just seems weird to me that... Oh, hi. Bridge is making itself for me. That's awesome. I almost fell and died. I ra rather, I don't know if I would have died. I would assume that the f evil fishy lurks down there, but I would not know for sure if that is indeed the case. Hello, hiccups. I wish to live. I hope you all die before I do. That would be great. Ah, run away. You're on your own, guy over there. Maybe using the blaster would work. Is that a viable strategy here? I don't know, because I gotta play it like super safe. Super safe! This is not very super safe. What a waste of ammo, because, like, most of these shots are completely missing. Thank you for not missing, because that was going to kill me otherwise. Ah, da, 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 da. There's a button. Hi, button. How are you? Hooray! I'm still dying, by the way. Just thought I would point that out. Gonna have to play the rest of this safe if I want any hope of surviving. So, in that case, I'm gonna play Sniper. Oh, look at that, I sniped. Oh, look at that, I sniped. I'm sniping you. Sniping you. You guys are too far away now. Don't hide behind a lamppost. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Man, that, that's just rude. Just hiding behind a lamppost. Seriously. Fight me with some dignity, man. Don't hide behind a lamppost. Seriously, no, nobody has self-respect for enemies that hide behind lampposts. All right, I'm sorry. You, you, I've just lost all respect for you and your entire species because one of you just decided, hey, I'm gonna hide behind a lamp post and not give you any help. No, stay away! <laughs> that guy was getting a little close there. I hit the panic button. In other words, I panicked and hit the button that allowed me to panic. Um... And those guys are just, like, so far away, and causing me to have to use this strategy that I honestly don't like. Because it takes too long. <laughs> this is really taking too long. Seriously, man. I don't like you, little guys. Will you, will you die, please? Please and thank you. They're the magic words, you know. Are you gonna die? Are you gonna die? Thank you for dying. Okay, I'm, like, out of ammo and hopes... We're here. I was about to... Now where's that fighter? Right there in that locked garage. One tourist crashes a jet and wham! <laughs> lawsuit. That lock is unlike any I have seen. Very astute observation, Mr. Shiny. I Mr. can't open Robot. it either. Dude. I don't trust the tourist. And the board of directors don't trust me. <laughs> so we have a little problem. We have a little problem? I just want the O2 mask. So if you can't open up the lock, that's your problem. Now cough up the mask. Well, well I can see serious. that you really wanted to fly our jet. So I'll tell you what, <laughs> go talk to Bob at his robo-shack. He knows about these locks. What? Did you all see that? What the? <laughs> ah, scary wrench! <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but um, it sure is convenient that this thing is over here. Like, conveniently right here. Hi. Well, well, what do we got here? Hey, watch it. I recognize that work. Y'all been to Seattle, ain't you? Yeah, he installed the helipack. I can see that. 
I taught okay. that idiot brother of mine everything he knows. Look, if you want some real hardware, I can fix this little feller up with a thruster pack. Ooh. Sounds good. Will it help us get past that weird lock by the fighter garage? Ah, you know about those gizmos, huh? Well, it sure as heck will. It's got a real special power slam move built right in. That sounds helpful. It's a good thing I need this to get to that jet or you'd be out of luck, pal. You're out of luck, pal. Once again, I have to pay for my way through this game. Awesome. I've got it. Whee! I'll have you fixed up faster than a horny toad a hoppin. Uh, no. Well, there you are, little buddy. Better than new. That's right. I am the man. <sighs> yeah, not bad. Hooray! Thruster pack! It's, like, faster than the other thing, basically. It's obviously the replacement for the helipack. You can still use the helipack if you want. I don't know why you would. But, uh, also you can do some snazzy ground pound thing somehow. By pressing the button again. <laughs> okay. Yay! I can do a ground pound! I couldn't possibly have done that before. Fly the jet plane! Yes! I can fly the jet plane! I love flying the jet plane. Do 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 do! I'm flying jet plane, running into everything. Okay, that's how I shoot. I was wondering for a moment how I'm supposed to shoot, but yeah, I've got it figured out. I've got it figured out. All right, so I guess what we're supposed to do is, uh, well, there's flying crates flying at me. That's ultra convenient. Um, I'm guessing if the the lock on thingy wants me to lock on to thingies. But, you know, just simply shooting seems to be working. God, <laughs> you know, there's not much of a point when it's working so well like this. Oh no, this guy over here shooting at me. I don't like it when he shoots at me. I don't want to be shot at. Dude, go away. You, you, you are not nice, okay? Where did all these flying things come from? I mean, I saw these, like, caterpillar mobiles flying through the sky earlier, but I didn't see the, all these other little ships. Maybe I'm just not paying attention. Maybe I'm just not paying at all attention. I'm just wasting bullets. Or rather, I would be wasting bullets if not for the fact that I have seemingly infinite amounts of bullets. Maybe I should be using these missiles or something to speed up the process a little bit. Maybe just a little. Maybe just a little. Can I, like... Oh, I can't do any, like, special moves. No barrel rolls. Dude, Peppy would be disappointed, man. Peppy would be disappointed. And I hate disappointing Peppy. He's, like, the best guy in the world, man. The best guy in the world. Seriously, where are you? I know you're here. I can see you with my eyes. See that? I saw you. I see my ship! I can see my ship from here! Hi, ship! I shot you! <laughs> I don't know what I have against my ship. That's, like... What, the third time I've shot my ship or something? I don't know. Mission complete! Yay! Well, I guess that should do it. <laughs> Here you go. Hooray! It's about time. No, I, I, it's about a mask that I can use to breathe in the water. Actually, I believe, I, n noticing in the water below all the explodey boxes down there, I believe that's what I was looking for to begin with. But, uh, not gonna do that now. As I recall, I think it's just like a skill point or something for blowing up all the boxes. I'll worry about that later. For now, there's a teleporter that will take us back to our ship. See? See? It's all good. Now that we have this oxygen mask, there's a lot of things open to us, actually. But, um, we'll get to that I in the future. I'm hoping I can find that raritanium. That'd be pretty cool. I love raritanium. It's an element of some kind. Which planet is Hoven? Um, Hoven. Have we even been there? We haven't even been there. <laughs> Clank! Mr. Robot Dude, how can you talk about a place we haven't even been to? I mean, seriously? What's your problem? Where do we have to go? Oh, yeah, here. We're, we're going back to Orkson! Except we have an oxen, oxygen mask thingy, so now Ratchet can go. You know? And I have the hiccups again. That's ultra-fantastic. I'll see you next time, okay? Okay, bye.